Well, I started the day off making a video on uh, troubleshooting the noise in the back of my uh, GMC Safari here. And well, what it's turned into is uh, two of the three bolts on the exhaust, on the muffler flange, they're just gone. So uh, let's see if we can fix that. Okay, before I, uh, before I yanked the drive shaft out of it, I decided to take a step back and uh, just run some basic tests on this. And uh, so I already have it up in the air. And what I decided to do was to put, uh, put it in gear and let it run, climb under it, see if I can hear anything. I can't hear anything. But I did find something interesting. And that is, um, I have to say it up here, because once you get down there, you can't hear it. I knew it had an exhaust leak in it, but I just wasn't sure where. Turns out where it goes into the muffler, it's missing two of the three uh, bolts. So uh, I think I gotta fix that before I, I do any more on, uh, on trying to find the noise back here. So I'm gonna do a couple of things today. I'm gonna check the gear oil and make sure it's up there. I don't think that's the noise. I just wanna check it because I'm here. And two, I gotta fix this. Uh, I gotta fix this uh, missing bolts on the, uh, the collector here. So uh, let me show you what the issue is. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me, but right here, you can see that bolt is missing, that bolt is missing, and I could actually feel the, uh, the exhaust coming out right here. So uh, I gotta knock those three out, those three out, throw some bolts in it, your gasket, and uh, then we'll try to hear it again. Right now, with all this exhaust noise, I can't hear anything. The good news is, back up underneath here, I'm not hearing anything coming out of the differential, and I'm not hearing anything coming from the, uh, the axle bearings and the drive shaft itself. It's nice and quiet, too, so uh, maybe it's a non-issue.
a lot of work went into this, but if you kind of know the steps uh, to take it through, uh, it takes time and you have to have the right tools. I mean, this isn't something uh, that you just beat on with a hammer and hey, it magically works. So what I did last night, I cut both ends off. One was just like a button head on the back and the other was the actual broken off threads. I cut those off last night and I hit it with some penetrating oil, then I called it a night. Came back out this morning, um, hit it with the flap disc, just kind of clean things up, put more penetrating oil on it, and then I took a uh, center punch and I put a little dimple right in the middle of, uh, of the bolt, the broken off bolt. Uh, after that, um, I took a 1 8 inch carbide, carbide bit and I drilled about an eighth of an inch hole deep, and that's just to provide a landing for the air hammer. Uh, I used map gas. Uh, map gas is supposed to be a little bit hotter than propane. I don't know what's in the bottles. I mean, it's yellow. It's supposed to be hotter. So uh, I hit it with uh, map gas for about four minutes, and uh, then I fired up the air chisel and just, just, just went at it. Some uh, YouTubers say, I gave it all the beans. Well, seeing that the operating uh, pressure of the, uh, the air hammer is 90, I had it at 150. So yeah, that's, uh, that's all the beans and a little hot sauce on top of it. And it took time. It took time. Well, you saw the video. Uh, and here we are. I've got it cleaned up now, went to Napa, got the gasket, and I'm gonna put it back up in there. I gotta tell you, the best thing I did was not try to work on it under the car. Too old for that. I got it up here, I worked on it, took a break, <laughs> worked on it, took a break. Uh, I know how these things go. It just, it just takes time. And for me, it's not a priority. I get to it when I get to it. So uh, next step, put this back in and hook it up and test it, but I, th I think we'll be okay. I've also bought some uh, uh, grade eight uh, hardware, bolt, nut, lock washer, so we're good to go. So let's climb onto the van.
got it wrapped up. Got that exhaust leak taken care of. I can't find uh, a bearing noise or a, I, I can't find any other noises back here, so I'm just gonna let it go. The, the exhaust leak was a, uh, that was a big deal. So we got that taken care of. Did I, did I do everything perfectly? Oh, heck no. <laughs> Believe me, there was a lot of stuff that got edited out. Uh, usually me cussing a lot, but uh, we got it. We made progress, so uh, thanks for watching.